Good morning. Hi, I'm Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles and welcome to Christmas in July, day six. And today is day one of my vacation. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee, talking to you guys and waiting for my friends to come pick me up. We are going treasure hunter, hunting today and we are going to go to uh, flea markets and re um, restore resale shops and just have a good time and Sam's not really filling up to going so I'm going to head off with my friends I finished the blanket so of course that means since I cast some or stopped, ended something I get to put something else on <laughs> so I'm in my secret summer crop here it is one of my favorite makes and I want more so I am going to cast on another secret summer crop in this red, this red and white. This is Cadia upcycled marine plastic aqua. So it's made from super soft. I think it's also maybe part cotton too. It's part of the Sequal initiative and it's 50% cotton and 50% polyester from um, bottles, water bottles that have been taken out of the ocean. I think this is fingering. It's hard to see. I got it a while back at, on clearance <laughs> at on the lamb yarn shop. Where is that? Dye lot is five six nine one eight. I had this in the red, blue, and black, and I figured they would make some really great secret summer crops. It's a thin yarn. Of course, I'm not. Aha! There it is. Uh, I think this is a 50 gram ball. Okay. Tiny, tiny print. So 109 yards to a 50 gram ball. So no, it's actually supposed to be more DK. It doesn't look like DK to me. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a swatch this time and see which way it's going to go. I'm using a US 7. I usually don't use a smaller um, needle for the ribbing around my waist just because I don't have much of a waist. But I'm going to be using my Christmas in July triangle bag with the Christmas lights inside that my stepmom Donna made me. Aren't these cute? Island Coos. Okay. So since I'm going to be a passenger today, I'm going to be in the back of the car. So I am going to work on a new project. All right. It is already about five minutes in. Uh, so I will see you guys later. I'll try to take a little bit of video of today. Otherwise, this evening, this evening may be a good time to get back into the yarn stash. So that's probably going to be the plan for today is to get back into the yarn stash and do some more fluffing. See you in a bit. Hi, I'm back. It is about 8 p.m. in the evening. I have had a great day. I took off with a couple of my girlfriends and um, we went yard selling and thrift storing and just flea marketing, looking a little bit of everywhere. And we just had a great time together. Had lunch at an old hamburger place called Griff's. If you ever have a chance to eat at one, it is so good, especially if you like the greasy hamburgers, the old fashioned kind, they're char broiled. But that was my day. And I didn't get very much knitting done. We were too busy laughing and talking and 
swerving and <laughs> hitting potholes. Uh, I hope the sound of the air conditioner is okay. I tried doing this without it and uh, I started sweating too bad too quickly. It, the weather is not as bad out there today as it has been um, due to the tropical depression down in the Gulf. It's only been in the 90s today instead of the 100s, but it's still warm. So I thought since I didn't do anything with you guys, but I will put a little video in right here. This was in front of the Cattle Barn Flea Market. And this was an old truck that was just sitting out front. I'm assuming it belongs to one of the vendors inside. And as you can say, he has got this thing rigged up like crazy, but it has current tags on it. It's crazy. That's the only video I got. <laughs> uh, so I figured y'all would be okay, hopefully, to go back through the next step with the um, yarn stash, you know, fluffing my yarn stash and starting to utilize these containers. So I've got a little bit of a plan of attack. So let me grab this. This is North Shore Prints, and just North Shore. These are Cascade yarn. The uh, North Shore Prints, they're 100% acrylic, 220 yards to 100 grams, machine washable, and I have used this one to make a, um, I made one baby sweater out of this and I had some green before that I made a baby sweater out of. And this kind of reminds me of a um, red flannel shirt when it's made up. This one is color 11. Sorry, the color over here was 504. This Cascade North Shore Solid is color 11. And I actually made a uh, well, it's the end of the day. My brain is gone. Um, I'll put the name down here and um, hopefully put a picture up of these items and um, show you what I've made out of them. So I have leftover. I have plenty of leftover. And these I got on clearance from Juju's Yarn several years ago. And I have two and a half skeins left of this pink. And I have three and a half skeins left of the red. Here, put it this way. already balled up. See so all that black and gray as well as the red and a little bit of a pink. So it really does look like a red flannel shirt. Okay. I will reuse this later. But that's not all I have of that. <laughs> and one of these I have, this one is color 509, again, North Shore Prints. It's all these oranges, peaches, and golds. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of those. And that frees this up because I want these for the hand dyed yarns. Another workhorse yarn I have that I want because this is nowhere near full. I wanted to put in here with these. This is some Yarn Bee Fresh Haven Pewter Twist. You um, get 180 yards. 
to 100 grams. So this is more of a worsted. It's called Pewter Twist. It's 100% lyocell. I think it, that comes from wood pulp. Yeah, it's a number four. And it is so silky and shiny. It's tan and white. And I have one, two, three, four, and a full one here that I balled up. So five. I have five of those. I got those on clearance at Hobby Lobby for $1.37 years ago. So just making sure I don't have any more of these in here. Nope, that's all of these. And I don't think I have any more in the tubs. Let me check though. No, I don't see any back there. Okay, so this is almost full, but it can hold. I have leftover. This was a King Cole print, one of the Nordic ones, and I did a vest with it. Hopefully I'm putting up, I have a chance this evening to put up some videos of these items that I've made, but I figure that'll, that'll squish in there nicely. So here I have acrylics, lyocell, all in this one. And most of these, there's enough for good size projects. So there's another tub down. And it's closing good. <laughs> okay. So. That's one more tub down. Let me go put it in the cabinet and grab the next tub. So what to do in this tub? Okay, one I definitely want in here is this one. I keep trying to make something with this and it just doesn't happen but it's an interesting yarn. It's tannish brown, just of neutral. And this is Cedifra, C-E-D-I-F-R-A, Tiago. If you can see that. And it's made by Coates in Spain. And it's 50% silk and 50% viscose. And it feels more like linen. It's kind of a linen cotton, but it's not. But it, and it's one of those clearance yarns that was just too good of a buy. And I was curious about it. And let's see how much you get. Even say. Huh. Okay, so it's a 50 gram ball and you get 85 meters. So there's not a ton on here, but I have one, two, three. four, five, six. I have six of them. The problem is the color, it doesn't do anything for me. So it's something I would need to add something else to because it just washes me out. It's not my color. 
but I'm curious on how this would make something up. I may just need to do a little bit of a swatch to find out what it's like once it's been um, knitted up and soaked. Okay. Then I also have all these Timu cottons that I just bought them as an experiment and I was wanting to make some washcloths maybe for um, Christmas presents. Have I gotten it done yet? No. So, but it's got all these great little colors. So let's put these in here too. Stand them up. That way they can squish over. Okay. Oh, what else, what else, what else? Organizing the, this is not as easy as I would have thought. Ooh, okay. I'll explain the minis later. But right now I'm working with the aqua. And I am working with the red. This one is, this one is navy and white. And I also have black and white. Can you guess that they were on clearance? They were like 75, 80% off. <laughs> so I could not pass it up. So I have a whole bag of these in here. Now, the cool thing about the aqua, it's by Cadia. And it is a DK weight because these are 50 gram balls. Got color 55, 58, and 54. And they're part of the sequel. And I think I told you about this earlier, but they are made from upcycled marine plastic. So bottle, um, plastic coming out of the ocean and cotton, 50-50. So I have one, two, three, and these are all navy. That's black. Okay, so it looks like I have 200 grams of the navy. Two hundred fifty grams of the navy, and two hundred fifty grams of the black, which would mean that I also have two hundred fifty grams of the red, even though there's just three of them up here. Two of them are in my project bag over here until I find out how much I need for the secret summer crop I'm making with it. And that was the plan. That was the plan for these is actually to make a secret summer crop. Empty bag. Okay. So we're making it through and I still have room here. I still have room here. And I want to do a cotton because all of these are cotton themed in here so far. So I want a cotton in here. So let's do these. Queensland Coastal Cotton. Let's see if I can get them in here. They're, this is in the color chili. And this is a worsted weight, 100% cotton. Excuse me, 185 yards to 100 grams. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had seven. But apparently, nope. Okay, so I have six of these. Let's see if I can get them in there. 
And there is a plan for this. There is a dress, a cotton dress on a drops pattern that I want to make with this. It may take me forever since it's a dress, <laughs> but it is worsted, so that should help. And it's a summer dress. And I just wanted a red dress. You know how I've gotten all this summer, I have really been into my reds. So let's see if these will go in here and if it will close. Closing is the critical part here. And I need a lid. So four of the yarns I already have projects figured out for that I want to do. Will I actually do those projects? I don't know. You know, we're knitters. We can change our mind. We're crocheters. We're crafters. And that's not going to work. Okay. So the Queensland cotton is going somewhere else. I know some people like to go ahead and put their pro put them into project bags and everything, but that's not me until I'm actually ready to cast on. Maybe it'll fit. If I just jigsaw puzzle this a little better. Ooh, I'm so close, I'm so close. Is it going to work? <laughs> it stayed closed, it stayed closed. Okay. So before it pops back open, I'm gonna go put this one up. <laughs> So we are working our way through a little bit. Okay, like I said, I'm wanting to use this smaller ones. For hand dyed first or specialty yarns. That may end up changing. <laughs> Okay, so how about we work on one more tub tonight and then call it a night. Okay, so I have one, two, three, I have five skeins of Nomad eggshell and fingering weight for dyeing or for using just for neutrals. And I have one Knit Picks Hawthorne left. And this is a bear. Also for either dyeing or neutrals. And what am I going to put with it? Okay. I have leftover of the Marisol Tapachi that I made a sweater with. And there's enough there for a hat or some kind of accessory. It's so fluffy. I also have left over of the um, Cascade Yarns Cantata. This is 70% cotton, 30% superwash merino wool. Sorry about that. Just a little bit. I made a vest. And I'm going to need this because the vest is shorter than I really am comfortable with. So I'm thinking I'm going to lengthen it. 
So I want to keep that close at hand. And this is a really cool yarn. It's got the cotton and the superwash is the black that's kind of blown around it. I really do love that. Hmm. What else to put in here? Since I'm not sure what else to put in here, I'm going to go with an acrylic actually, but this is a special acrylic. This is hand dyed acrylic yarn, yarn for the masses. The colorways are stormy skies. These two are stormy skies. And this one is Grumpy Sunshine. And they'll go together great. And I bought those at the last, this is gonna fit. This is not going to fit, okay. So those are going to have to wait, but I bought those at Fiberfest. Um, she's a, is she a Texas dyer? I think she may be a Texas dyer. And these are DK weight. But I wanted, I really love the fact that she was using acrylic yarn because it can be used for so many people that are allergic to, to animal yarns. Okay. So since I can't get those in there, do you remember these? These are, were left over from that baby blanket. They're Premier Wool Selects. So I'm going to get these in here somehow. Just need to rearrange it a little bit. And let's see if the lid will go. See if the lid will come over here. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's on there. All right, as I said, I was done, but I just have this one other tote. And then it's going to get really interesting after that because then we're going to have, we're going to get into all of these back here. So I want to be able to go ahead and put away the Rainbow Beach by Queensland. All this beautiful purple. Colorway is violet. And this is a sport weight. And it's 100% wool. And it says it's pure Australian superwash wool. And this is the one that I have. Is it six or seven? Well, I thought I had seven skeins, but it's looking like I have six skeins. It keeps one, two, three. Yeah, I've got six skeins. I don't know if I'm coming or going with it. Okay, let's put this up here. Put that empty one up there. I don't know if I'm coming or going with it. Okay. And then These are going to be, for, this is going to be for larger projects. 
I have three skeins. I'm getting all this fluff in my nose. A vintage DK by Barocco. It's marine wa uh, machine washable yarn. And this is color 2179, which is a brown. Just a beautiful chocolate brown. These are so soft. And I also have black and red. And I may be pulling one of these back out. I need to make a hat for Seaver. But I think I want to make it with fingering weight instead. Okay. So these go in here. Or is that too much? That's too much to ask for. Okay. All right. Another one down. So now I am down to one empty, all of this still, and these zipper bags. And I'm thinking I'm going to reuse, continue to reuse these zipper bags. Ugh. Let's go ahead and put Mandy's in here. Just for now. And this is the mouse's um, the mouse witch yarns. In no year of yarn November last year. And November minis that were just for Belinda. <laughs> so just for me <laughs> on these to match up because I want to do some kind of a striping, something along those lines with these. Then I have some Heathered Handmaids, these three minis. I wanted to make some striped socks with them. So let's put those in here. I have Show Me Yarn, which has gone out of business, chocolate covered strawberries and self-striping. So these are not going to stay in here because I'm going to end up rearranging it. This was something I won during um, 2020. And I, it doesn't have a name or anything. I don't even know how much is there. But But this is just so that I can get these somewhat. It's a gray, light gray. And this one, not sure which one it is, but that's a commercial wool. And these minis I got at, these are dyed, and I'll show you these closer. Uh, these were um, dyed using ways that would have been available during the Renaissance time. And I got these at, during Renaissance Festival. Okay, so this is not all going to go. So I'm gonna to keep that one out. Lid, lid, lid. Okay. Okay. So that's going back over there. And I've got wools, cottons, all different things in there. Oh. And I have some bags and some trash. But we're getting there. Look at this. We are getting there. Ugh. This has got different leftover yarns and yarns I was going to do something with and then didn't. And it, I've just been taking up and down the stairs. So 
So we're going to go through these another day. but they're getting a little bit more organized. The only stuff that's going into the cabinet is what you've already seen, so you will actually see all of my yarn. Just please do me a favor, don't tell Sam about all of this. This is gonna be our secret, right? <laughs> okay, so tomorrow's plans, I am going down past Waco to a um, baby shower, so I probably won't do, be able to do much in the way of recording. I have some stock um, video from last Christmas of some Christmas lights and some different things in the area. So I'll probably put something along those lines together for you. Ooh, how would y'all like to hear about what I've been reading lately or listening to rather? Um, because I am going to be listening to a book on the way down uh, that I, I am really enjoying and I've been doing a lot more reading. So we can talk about that tomorrow. If there's something in particular that interests you and you would like me to um, talk about it more, please do leave me a note and let me know. Otherwise, y'all have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow.